Right, here we have a GCC question, and we're going to be looking mainly at the idea of when vectors are parallel to other vectors. And we're told that AB is parallel to DC in this question. So AB is parallel to DC. And you know a vector is parallel to another vector when one is a multiple of the other. And we look at AB being parallel to DC, we can see that AB is equal to 12A and DC here, DC is equal to 18A. And we can see that DC is equal to 3 over 2 lots of AB, 1.5 AB. So DC is a multiple of AB, therefore that makes them parallel. So that's what we're looking for when we're looking for parallel vectors. And we're also told in this question that AD is equal to 3B. Um, and E is the point on the diagonal DB such that D is one third of db so this is one third of the way along and this is two thirds this ratio here we want to find in terms of a and b db so we want to find in terms of a and b db so db is going to be minus 3b going along here and plus 12a gets us from d to b using just a and b so we can see that's just going to be equal to 12a minus 3b now, DE is equal to one third of that. So, one third of 12A is just 4A. One third of minus 3B is B. And we, and we want to find AE. So AE is going to be 3B plus DE. We go along from A to D and then from D to E. So, we're going to do 3B plus whatever DE is, which is this. So, we have got 3B plus 4A minus B. And we add those together, we get 4a plus 2b. And it says show by vector method that bc is parallel to ae. That bc is parallel to ae. So we want to find out what bc is. And the easiest way to bc, the easiest way to find out bc is to go ba plus ad plus dc. So we want to show by vector vector BC is parallel to AE. So we're going to get to BC. We can use minus 12A plus 3B plus 18A. So BC equals minus 12 lots of A plus 3B plus 18A. 18A plus minus 12A is just going to get us 6A plus 3B. Now what we can see is, if we times 4 by 1.5 we get 6, if we times 2 by 1.5 we get 3. Therefore, BC will equal 1.5, 3 over 2, times by A, E. Therefore, they are parallel. Because all we wanted to do is show that one vector was a multiple of the other vector, to show that they are parallel. <laughs>